Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn why event tick is extremely bad for your blueprints and why you should never use it. Let's see a real example why the event tick is extremely bad for your game and how it ruins the performance of your game. Let's open our damage blueprint. Right click and type event tick. I will quickly create a variable simply to show you how bad the event tick is and what exactly is doing to your game. You don't have to do anything, just watch. Event tick fires every frame, which means it's constantly calling your code. If you have a lot of logic or calculations happening inside event tick, it can overwhelm your system and lead to frame rate drops. If you have something here on the right side, if you have big code, it's going to lead to FPS drops, frames per second. With this code, I have simply added a number and this number is going to increase for one for each tick. Now when I start the game, we will see how many ticks will happen per second. I will just connect this one. So we are going to see message on the screen. Now let's drop our actor in the world. So this is our damage underscore heal, the actor we have created from before. And we have put the tick inside. So this is a simple function, it doesn't do a lot, but you will see how much it's going to strain our computer. Now let's play the game. These numbers on the left side are ticks per second. You see in just a couple of seconds how high this number has become. Imagine if you play this game for 15 minutes or one hour. Just look. Now you are playing the game and the tick is going to fire all the time during the game. As long as this actor is in the world. Let's exit the game and break it down even into more details, these calculations. Let's say you have only one event tick in your blueprints. You are playing your game for one hour that's 3600 seconds. Event tick is ticking 120 times per second and the result 3600 seconds times 120 frames per second. That's equal to 432 thousands ticks in one hour. So if you play this game for one hour, you're going to get 432 thousands ticks. Now this is one actor with one event tick node. Imagine if you have two, three, five or more event ticks, how much is going to be heavy on your system. If you remember in the previous video, we were talking about how bad the casting is. Now imagine if you put that casting node with this event tick. I'm going to delete these nodes and we are going to call cast to third person character. get player character and it's print string and we are going to print message on the screen what are we using event tick on in this case is third person character now let's play the game. Now this actor, this white sphere, is taking all the memory that is held into player character. Now let's see how much it was in the player character. Let's go to content, main, 
right click and size map. So we were doing all those calculations with this size of the player character because we are ticking all the numbers and calculations and casting to player character and imagine how too much is this for the system and this is only one tick and one casting imagine if you have many of these you get the idea how bad this can be for your system now all the tutorials out there are full of tick and casting but nobody explains how bad this is and how this should never be used especially not combined these two things these two nodes should be never ever combined if you want your game to be good you might say but what should we use instead of tick we're going to delete the tick we can use custom events with timers but more for this in the following lessons so keep watching i hope this lesson was clear enough to make you understand that event tick should be completely avoided thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one